Hello, everyone. My name is Todd Bavona, reporting for the Staten Island Events, and this is another edition of Together SI Business Spotlight. We chat with someone from the small business community on Staten Island. Great to have you joining with us today from Staten Island Academy. She is the assistant head of school. It is Eileen Corigliano. Eileen, how are you? Hey, Todd. How are you? Thanks for having me today. Great to have you on the program today, Eileen. Eileen, tell us a little bit more about Staten Island Academy for those who might not know, and just give us a little history, if you would, Eileen. Sure. Uh, my pleasure. I, um, like you said, Todd, I'm the assistant head of school here at Staten Island Academy, and I just finished my 25th year um, here on the Toad Hill campus. But Staten Island Academy has been a staple in education here on Staten Island for 136 years. So we have been educating students through many times. Um, and as some of you may have seen, we recently did an ad in the Advent that featured both the class of 2020 and the class of 1919, where 100 years ago, that same graduating class from Staten Island Academy was dealing with a similar epidemic here in New York. So we were able to not only survive, but thrive from that time. So we now look to the future. Um, Staten Island Academy is a pre-K through 12 school located on Toad Hill Road. Uh, we're small by design. Our average class sizes range anywhere from eight to 15 students. And uh, we're proud to say that our students go on to wonderful colleges and universities of their choice around the United States and in other countries. And we really pride ourselves in the community that we've created athletically, artistically, and academically. And it's been an institution. I can't believe how long it's been around. It's amazing what you guys have, have seen and been through all these years. But this, Eileen, it's been a long time since you dealt with something like this. No one could expect it. No one could have predicted it. How does Staten Island Academy adjust? Uh, obviously, couldn't have classes anymore, people coming on campus. What else did that mean for Staten Island Academy in the past few months, Eileen? Yeah, so, you know, talk about the, the magic word pivot, you know. Uh, for us, community is who we are. It's at the heart of who we are. So the idea and the thought of going remote was um, almost inconceivable. And, uh, you know, obviously, like everyone else, at, at some point in March, we began to plan and look to this uh, new vision of what education could be like. And uh, pleasantly surprised, but not surprised, that our community um, really came together. You know, we were strong, but we were even stronger uh, while we were apart. And that was really evident in all the things that we had done. We worked through Microsoft Teams, which was a secure server for our littlest ones at three years old to our oldest ones. And obviously for our faculty and parents, we had asynchronous and synchronous classes every single day. We continued that feel of community by having game nights, lunch with administrators, movie time. We really tried to uh, simulate who we are as a community, not only in the academic rigor that our children face, but that compassion and understanding and support and sense of community that we needed now more than ever when we were in this isolation um, during these last few months. So although different, we really were able to embrace community and work together through this very difficult time. Wow, sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like you guys still had a good time and we're still staying in touch with everyone and doing the best you can, making the best of it. Now, Eileen, that brings the next question of moving forward now. What is the fall looking like? What is this? We start first with the summer, of course. What right. is the summer looking like? And as far as programming and staying in touch and continue to do what you're doing. And then how are we looking towards September, Eileen? So, yeah, the summer is looking very different for us. Uh, for many of you who know, we usually have six to eight hundred families on our campus for our day camp. But we chose um, not to have our day camp this summer. Uh, for safety and regulations and all of those types of things to gear our campus up for the fall because it is our intention to open school in September for all of our students pre-K through 12. Uh, the size of our campus and uh, the size of our school will afford us to be able to work through some of the CDC regulations of social distancing. We have 12 acres of outdoor space we have seven buildings that we can utilize for all of our students. And like I said earlier, because our class sizes are on the smaller side, 
we can work with that um, ratio that needs to be for safety and, and security for our students. Of course, though, always looking for options. So we have, uh, we're wiring all of our campuses, uh, all of our classes, excuse me, so that we can make sure that children can still connect if they're from home and they're not feeling well or they're uncertain about coming onto campus at any point. So we're making sure that we have connectivity both on campus and remotely for the fall so that we're ready to go. Although we won't have our day camp this summer, we have an extensive online program uh, with over 41 different classes for the youngest students to the oldest students, everything from cooking to SAT to uh, physics courses to psychology. So you name it, we've got a really rich online program that we're offering students at Staten Island Academy as well as students outside of Staten Island Academy this summer. Wow, it's great to see what you guys are continuing to achieve and, and still managing to get done. Staten Island Academy. Apologize for all the noise and whatnot. We're actually getting ready for the drive-in movies here at the Juicy Lucy Barbecue. There's a lot going on. It's even raining outside. Uh, speaking of adjusting, right, to the elements and everything going on. Hey, Eileen, before we go, 30 seconds. What do you think? Positive, silver lining, a good way to end this entire interview. A good takeaway from the past few months. Yeah, Todd, it's really important to look for those silver linings. And when you're faced with adversity, it was wonderful to see us come together as a community and be able to not only forge through it, but thrive through it. So I know that now our students, our teachers and administrators have so many more tools in their toolbox. And we are so forward thinking about what next year will look like and bigger, better and stronger as a community. What a great way to end it. Thanks so much for the time, Eileen Corigliano, joining us from Staten Island County. Appreciate it. Take care. Thank you, Todd. Once again, thanks to Eileen Corigliano joining us from Staten Island Academy. She is the assistant head of school over there. So uh, best of luck to all those students uh, moving on from Staten Island Academy going on to college. Looking forward to September, of course. My name is Tabavon reporting for the Staten Island events. That'll do it for this episode of Together Outside Business Spotlight. See you next time.